I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey, you guys, gonna take a look at your weekend collective love messages. See what's coming up for you for this weekend. Okay, you're starting off with love. Beautiful, nice. Unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Good start. Okay, let's see. What else showing up here for you? And you have lightning. Wow. Okay. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and a transformation. Okay. Love is coming in this weekend for the collective. Let's see. Especially for you listening. Oh, and you have a mirror again. Okay. I feel like this keeps showing up. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So it looks like someone coming in here. There's going to be a shocking revelation here regarding a love relationship where I do feel like <clears throat> someone is coming to terms with how similar you two really are how much you reflect one another how much you like there's a familiarity how much you both are actually really alike how much you have in common um yeah this is it feels like wow um kind of a little awakening of some sort where it's like wow we really are a lot alike we we really do I don't know if anybody was kind of like, no, we have nothing alike, but it just kind of is like a realization that occurs. All right, let me get some. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So there's definitely a new start in love over this weekend. Okay. Hmm. Yep. There's like a, a healing energy from feeling trapped. Yes. And definitely some communication happening over this weekend. Some good, exciting news coming out about commitment so it looks like somebody is ready to commit could be a taurus there's taurus on the board here yep it's all about marriage working together to make something happen here okay <clears throat> so there's a new start happening i feel like it's a, like a blessing someone might have a child or you might have a child together um but there's also someone is very smitten with you I feel, and I do get this sense that somebody wants to work on this relationship. Somebody really wants to commit. Your person wants to commit. Try to make something happen here. Um, I feel like there might have been some mental distress or um, somebody, like your person, felt like they couldn't make something happen <clears throat> as far as... hmm. It kind of like I don't know if it's mental if there was like a mental stress mental disorder or something going on within them where could have been something with the brain or the way they think um, your person could be um, they're telling me neurodivergent could be you yeah but it, it feels like there's a love thing here. So it doesn't matter if there's a disability. It doesn't matter because somebody wants, like, I feel like your person wants to learn to love. They want to learn how to be, they want to learn how to make this relationship work. Okay. There's a lot, I feel like instead of looking at the differences between you and them your person is seeing how much you mirror each other how similar you are 
I don't know, there's something here about you and this person that is just very, it's like you two are like two peas in a pod. That's like, that's what I'm hearing, okay? Your communication style might be a little bit different. So I feel like there's a difference in understanding one another. But I will say that they are extremely smitten with you. Like you, there's something about you. Like I feel like this person's like, I would marry you. Like I, you are my plus one. Like you are the person I want to be with forever and ever and ever with a hierophant, like locked in for life. Okay, let's see what else is going on here for this weekend. So I, listen, expect to get some kind of message or to hear from this person, a little bit of flirting or just some type of, like I feel like something about doing something over this weekend or attending some kind of, they're just saying, There might be a conversation about school or about some kind of training program or learning uh, construction or learning something or a building or something to do with skill, a type of communication about a skill or attending something. Okay, so yeah, we've got the King of Swords. Okay, so that's the first court card. So I feel like your person may have some air in their chart or they could be gemini aquarius or libra so not that air signs are without emotion they definitely are emotion emotional but you see all of the um the blue they're kind of they're more logical than they are like i feel like the King of Swords is more of an engineer than a poet. If I could break it down to you that way, um, they're more of a logical person than, you know, a f um, kind of like um, a like a poetic person. Do you know what I mean? Um, does that make them someone who's like on the spectrum or something? Not necessarily, but I do feel like this your person is much better with. analyzing or analysis than they are maybe with um writing poetry or that kind of thing yeah that or at least that is where they come from first before all the other stuff you know the theatrics or the drama so yeah i do feel like your person is definitely a communicator but they communicate sans emotion so they communicate more with logistics or truth and or facts and or evidence and less with compassion and emotion and affection, that kind of thing. Not that they are without it, but I do see like there, you know, there's a lot of grays and blues. They do have a red kind of cape on. So that does give me that there is passion. They're very passionate about the things that they talk about. But the red doesn't often rom um, represent romance or affection. That would be more like the pinks and the pink hues, that kind of thing. This is more like a red and a purple. They're loyal for sure, but they're passionate about their communication and their beliefs and things like that. Um, not very affectionate often. It's not their biggest trait. Okay, let me see. Okay, so hmm. I feel like this person is walking away from, yeah, so they've been pretty much blocked, it looks like, for a long time. Like, very difficult to get into accessing their heart, not even for anybody else, but for you. And it looks like they're on some kind of a journey here. Let me see. So there may not have been much communication with this person, but I feel like symbolically they're trying to learn how to kind of get away from that energy where they're being more self-protective, trying to kind of open up. There's a lot of like learning. It's kind of shocking. I feel like the way this person is able to figure this out. 
You know, that's why that love card showed up there first. It's even about um, learning to be more affectionate as well. Okay. Yeah, kind of getting away from this very brash type of behavior. Um, they might have even been be considered borderline abusive, just harsh, brash. Look at all the sword energy. Very like blocking type of energy. Yeah, it looks like this person is really changing and there's they definitely want to try to reconcile with you. Um, I'm feeling like this person feels like they were not kind to you. They feel like they were just not kind and not em like had empathy towards you. Like lacking kindness and consideration. Um, they were lacking sincerity towards you. So it looks like this person's going through some kind of a shocking change and a transformation. Um, I do feel like you're going to be hearing from them and you may not expect this type of behavior from them, but they really like internally are going through this change. Um, they do want to reconcile with you or try to talk to you or be with you or see you over this weekend um, to show you. Let's see what else. Yeah. Yeah, that they've come to the end of this. Like the way they've been, I feel like um, they just can't put up this front anymore. They don't want to live this way anymore. They come in and make this love offer towards you. Show you, like bring this affectionate offering to you, this romantic offer. So there's a proposal of some sort. I mean, I feel like they're not just going to show up out of the blue and do this. I do feel like they're going to flirt a little bit either through a text or a phone call. Um, just try to have some kind of conversation with you first. That kind of thing. Let me get a couple of extra messages here to see what else. Okay, hold on one second. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So you have family, celebration, wedding, engagement party. This person is definitely going to be trying to engage with you. Definitely, um, I mean, it's the Four of Wands energy, reunion, um, holidays coming up, getting things started. It's going in that direction to eventual long term commitment, family involvement celebratory energy falling in love um this is what they want with you your person wants this they just feel like they needed to make some kind of change to try to be better for you to try to be more affectionate and loving they've been kind of cold they haven't treated you well they know that it's almost like that's why i was feeling that school kind of energy trying to learn how to just be kinder, you know, try to be more, um, I don't know, like less cold to try have a, try to have a bit more empathy or compassion towards like your feelings or just, just who you are and how you feel. It's crazy. My son just came to the window just spooked me <laughs> i was like who's that freak who's that person in the window oh my gosh <laughs> yeah so there's a new chapter definitely starting here amazing looking back on the past only to help write the next new pages of this book traveling exploring the world learning meeting new people living your best life allowing the past to cycle out a new journey taking someone with you or going solo but it's like a whole new start with the world oh my gosh message from an admirer so your person is definitely going to be reaching out they are i will say i do feel like this person really does love you you're I should, I should say your person really does love you. I do feel like they are I don't know it's that they don't understand love. I just feel like they I just feel like their love language is quite different. I will say that. Their love language is very different. They I feel like they're trying to understand your love language and 
to be more affectionate and to be more loving towards you and to try to be more openly emotional because I just don't feel like they come from that place at first and yeah even with the ace of cups there that's like opening up the heart and the blessing and letting the you know the the water come out you know letting the emotions out I feel like they've been like blocking and keeping their emotions deep within so it is a start of a new beginning new romance a new um emotional wish being granted here i feel like it's very beautiful and let's get a charm and see what your charm your special charm is going forward for this weekend now do keep in mind this energy can play out at any time it doesn't have to just be over the weekend but you are beginning with a key here so it's a key with a rose Okay, so someone could have, someone's name could be Rose. It also could be a carnation, but I think it's a rose. Okay, so you might live in a place where there's a rose, or there could be a, the name Rose is connected to someone here. Or uh, you could live on Rose Street, or this person may bring you a rose, or roses, or you like roses. Or there's a connection to Rose or roses. Okay, also it's a key. So there is like a door being unlocked there is uh, blockages being unlocked here all right so i hope that you enjoy this reading um please do give the video a like on your way out it will help the video get up and out for more people to see and if you want to get a personal reading there is a link in the description box below all right you guys take care you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pee